everyone welcome to lectures by apanna in today's video we will see what a nil potent matrix is a matrix a is said to be nil potent if a raised to m is equal to 0 where m is an integer and 0 is a null matrix of same order as of a i will explain this in detail consider a square matrix we are having a square matrix a equal to 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 now we have to find a square here this is of the form a square is of the form a raised to m where m is equal to 2 so a square is equal to a into a which is equal to 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 into 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 So we get two into two four plus minus two into two minus four. Next is two into minus two minus four plus minus two into minus two plus four. Two into two four plus minus two into two minus four. Two into minus two minus four plus minus two into minus two plus four. This is equal to zero 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 zero. This is a null matrix. So now I will read the definition once more. A matrix A is said to be nil potent if A raised to M is equal to zero. Here A raised to M is A square, where M is an integer. Here M is an integer two, and zero is a null matrix. This zero is a null matrix. So we got a square is equal to zero. We got it in this form, which is in the form a raised to m is equal to zero. And this null matrix is of same order as of a. This null matrix, this null matrix is having the same order. That is, it is two by two matrix. This a is also two by two matrix. So the order of the null matrix is the same as this matrix a. So if we get this condition a raised to m equal to zero, here in this case m is two, so we got a square is equal to zero, and hence a is a nil potent matrix. Now we'll discuss another example. So we are having matrix a equal to one one three five two six minus two minus one minus three. We have to find if a is nil potent. So first I have to find a square. So a square is equal to a into a. That is equal to one one three five two six minus two minus one minus three into one one three five two six minus two minus one minus three. So multiplying these matrices, I will get the answer zero zero zero. Three three nine minus one minus one minus three. So here I got a square is not equal to zero. So a is not a nil potent matrix at index two. Here m is equal to two, where m is the index. So we got a is not nil potent at index two, but we are not stopping here. we are going to find a cube and see if a will become nil potent at m equal to 3 so let us find a cube a cube is equal to a square into a which is equal to 0 0 0 this is a square 3 3 9 -1 -1 -3 into a is 1 1 3 5 2 6 Minus two, minus one, minus three. Zero into one, zero plus zero into five, zero plus zero into minus two, zero. Next term will be zero into one, zero plus zero into two, zero plus zero into minus one, zero. Next is zero into three, zero plus zero into six, zero plus zero into minus three, zero. Three into one, three plus 
3 into 5. 15 plus 9 into minus 2. Minus 18. 3 into 1. 3 plus 3 into 2. 6 plus 9 into minus 1. Minus 9. Next is 3 into 3. 9 plus 3 into 6. 18 plus 9 into minus 3. Minus 27. Next is minus 1 into 1. Minus 1 plus minus 1 into 5. Minus 5 plus minus 3 into minus 2. 6. Next is minus 1 into 1. Minus 1 plus minus 1 into 2. Minus 2 plus minus 3 into minus 1. That is 3. Minus 1 into 3. Minus 3 plus minus 1 into 6. Minus 6 plus minus 3 into minus 3. That is 9. So, this will be equal to, this is, this term is 0, this term is 0, this term is 0. This is 3 plus 15 minus 18 is 0. 3 plus 6 minus 9, 0. 9 plus 18 minus 27 is 0. This term is 0. This is also 0. This is also 0. So, we got a cube is equal to 0. So, A has become nilpotent at M equal to 3. So, A is a nilpotent matrix at index 3. This is the concept of nilpotent matrix. If this video has helped you, please do subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you.